Finally, a video. Wow, look at these colors. The blue fire. You can make it blue or red or yellow or mix the colors together. Oh yeah, here's the little router. The mango router. It's so cute and little. Let's check it out. What, we, what can we do with it? Here's the gateway where you can configure it with cable, tethering, modem, or Wi-Fi to connect to your other router. You can connect this in a hotel or McDonald's or use it to travel around and connect to an Airbnb and kind of create a VPN. So here's some different settings. You can do port forwarding. You can configure the VPN with either OpenVPN or WireGuard clients. So OpenVPN you can do like Nord or SurfGuard. With WireGuard you could do Azar VPN or Moldguard, Moldguard or something, I don't know. Um, it, we're gonna get into that later in the video, but there's so many plugins and it looks like they're all installed already, except for the file sharing plugin, that's not installed yet. But this is my first time looking at all of these different features and I just think it's pretty crazy that this router is the size of my credit card and it could do so many things, there's so many different features packed into it and this is just really exciting and wow. I can't wait to mess around with all these settings and I don't really know what a lot of these do. I know a lot of them do but I don't know what a lot of other ones do so. Anyways, let's check out this VPN stuff and get it configured. I'm going to go ahead and use the recommended WireGuard client which is Azure VPN. It's not Azure VPN, it's Azure. So let's get it set up. This video is brought to you by Zeus, my cat. All he does is sleep and meow and eat. Yeah, we know you like that. All right, let's register. Let's sign up for one month just in case it doesn't work. I paid for it and I waited about 30 minutes at the screen and it didn't work. I tried in Google Chrome, didn't work. I tried in Edge, didn't work. Firefox, Google Chrome, Edge, no work. Let's try PayPal. Oh my God, it works. All right, let's download this client. You must install .NET. No problem. Okay, that didn't open it. Let's go hunt for it manually. All right, let's download the runtime engine. Do it for desktop apps. Install. Try it again. Oh, install .NET? Maybe I gotta restart my computer. After restart, still getting the issue. Okay, let's check for updates. Aha, .NET update. Hey, look at this, view optional updates. Oh, let's install the additional updates. Why not? I was also thinking maybe NordVPN is somehow blocking the access. Or maybe NordVPN is interfering somehow. I don't know. Let's restart the computer. Oh, it's still giving me the same issue. Okay, let's uninstall as our VPN and let's re-download it and reinstall it again. Same issue, again, oh my god. Okay, let's try my desktop computer. Oh my god, same issue. Okay, as our VPN sucks. As our VPN support says that we gotta install .NET version 5, which is the version before the one that we just installed. You know what? This is just too much work. So instead, we're using Mulvad VPN. And oh my god, look at this. It's a VPN and it's doing VPN things. It's a freaking miracle. Oh my, I, I can't believe it. This video is not sponsored by NordVPN, but if I lived in America or UK, I would definitely get this dedicated IP. But here in Canada, I guess I'm just using Mulvad VPN. But you know who else this video is sponsored by? My cat Cosmo, who hides in the shower curtain for no reason. 